I could keep going up, but I kind of want to go down to kill every single last one of the fuckers. I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to clear out every single one of those fuckers. Sounds like they're all freaking out down here. Wait, wait, that's not a slave, is it? Like, I don't want to accidentally hit a slave, but I don't think they're using any of the slaves for, uh, like, protection here. I think everybody shooting at me is a non-slave. Love this gun. What the hell happened to them? I kind of want better cover than this. God, I hope I'm not killing any slaves. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I think I just got, like, a bad karma sound. Did I just kill a slave? I just shot a shotgun in the direction of a bunch of slaves. That's what I did. Yeah, the ones turning the wheels. I think I just killed one of them. Ah, fuck. Okay, I, I think I shouldn't use a shotgun. Too inaccurate for, for the situation where there's so many of these slaves around. Okay. Oh, is that all the way back to... Oh. Okay, let's try again. Picking up from when I went downstairs. Bars in the way. Oh shit. Oh right, I forgot about you. Messy. I'm 
I'm surprised they're not coming up to try to get me. is absolutely amazing. Oh no, 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 I just shot a slave directly in the head. Okay, I'm back to the point where I've gotten most of them. I want to be super, super sure they're not a slave before I shoot. If they have a headlamp, they're definitely not a slave. How am I doing on ammo for this thing? Oh, I'm doing great. Yeah, that's a slave. That's a slave I shot. Actually, I don't know if that is a slave. That might be one of the workers. But they're cowering in fear, so I guess I won't shoot them. That's got to be most of them, right? That's definitely an enemy, but they don't seem like they're coming after me? Oh, are they giving... Are they giving up because I've killed so many of them? What's going on? I'm... Confused about that. I'm being super, super cautious. Yeah, these are the slaves that I killed. They're all just huddling down. I just blasted a shotgun in this direction. Okay, yep, yeah, they're fighting. Anyone else? Alright, well with these workers... Ah, I guess I'll just give them a good whack, you know? Oh, wow. <laughs> they have a uh, big pelvic energy. Alright, we have a lot of looting to do. Again, not going to cut it out, because it's super satisfying. I wonder if the game's going to recognize this in any moral way, me taking out every single person up here. Oh, you bastard. I can't get you in there. I mean, I could shoot you, but... Is there some way in there? have an absurd amount of supplies. up at the bar. I wish I could save the game, but you can't save during combat, and I'm still in combat, apparently, until I 
I guess, finish this whole thing. I think I'm at the point where I can't hold any more ammo, and I'm just converting it automatically into supplies. Wash your hands. Got a little bit of blood on them, you know? Okay. Right. Well, I really, really, really don't want to die, because I just made a shit ton of progress, and I can't save. Why is there a chair there? Oh, I can hear people above me. <laughs> I need to be careful. Um, I should actually craft some more med kits. Oh, got four. Well, let's make another. Yes, yeah, so the next way to go is up here. Alright, I'm going to be super cautious. Again, I can't save. I'd have to redo all of that. And I also want to make sure I don't kill any slaves, so I'm not going to throw grenades or use a shotgun. Nice music. Where's that music coming from? I guess just like speakers somewhere in this place. Was that it? I think those were like, oh, this is, yeah, we're like at the top pretty much. These are the golden doors to the Baron, probably. <laughs> Fucking gold. No taste. Didn't expect a gill. <laughs> I'll help you there. Except, remember, they might not actually be the Baron, because it might be the Baron's spokesperson. I don't know what the hell was up with that. Uh, maybe I just need to kill them both, to be sure. Yeah, sure we will. Oh, I'm ready. There's no slaves here, so... What the hell is this? These are probably the developers. Oh, Jesus. The game did save, thankfully, so we're good. Right. Let's try this again. Ooh, can I get up here? Or like, this gives me access to where they come from, right? Oh, I think I just saw him spawn. That's awkward. Oh, yeah, wow. I can watch him spawn. You're definitely not supposed to look from this angle. Right. 
Where the hell did that shot come from? Oh shit. Oh. I thought they were all gonna come from that one direction. I guess I was overly optimistic. Okay, gotta keep on the move. Gotta keep looking in all directions. And let's not go to that weird spot where I can watch them spawn, because that's totally immersion ruining. Alright, and shotgun, not the way to go. Too many enemies. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's... Let's take cover a bit better. I want to like go side to side and hit them as they get into cover, but it just opens me up way too much. Let's take cover back here, actually. Yeah, with Gil. Oh, you know what would actually be good? Yeah. Oh, wow. I knew they were coming from the sides, but they were also ready for me to come to the sides. <laughs> Alright, Molotov, very, very good idea. off all the ways to get to the sides. No, I'm out of that, so two concussives. Yo, what? What are you doing? Oh, oh, you're going over. Up and around, okay. Uh, I think I just saw a heavy, and I think they're gonna open the door. Oh, yeah. Yeah, here we go. Fucker. Put this out so I'm nice and stealthy, no one will see me. Wash my hands. Oh, I think they actually burned to death. Oh, that's Demir. Whew. Whoa. Okay, I won't loot every little thing. Oh, that might be something new, actually. Yep, coming. Come 
Стойте на месте! Занимаю Ты позицию! Хотела создать новый мир? Не выйдет! Здесь! Держу! Займись бароном! Всегда! Ау! <laughs> Come on, Anna. Take the shot. Thanks. Вы дал мой народ надежда. Я это никогда не забуду. Но война для меня только начался. Теперь надо закончить дело. Уходим, Артем. Спасибо, что помог моему народу. Я у тебя в долгу. Жив, зайчонок. Я так волновалась. Фанатики с Волги. Людоеды из бункера в горах. Рабовладельцы с берегов высохшего моря. Сколько же чудовищ породила война. Или они были всегда? А война лишь дала им возможность проявиться во всей красе, и теперь от них никуда не деться. Все же терять надежду рано. Мы все ближе к нашей мечте. Найти пригодное для настоящей жизни место без радиации мутантов. На добытых в пустыне картах обнаружилось несколько многообещающих вариантов, и весь экипаж с нетерпением ждет решения полковника, куда же Аврора отправится дальше. Пока же поезд плавно катится на восток. Экипаж отдыхает, а Степан сделал Кате предложение, от которого та не смогла отказаться. When's the wedding? <laughs> okay, so that's the end of that. So what about that whole two barons thing? That didn't even come up again? To be honest, that conversation we had with the baron down there on like the shore on their little lookout it felt like a fever dream or something like it didn't even feel real it felt so bizarre and out of place and now that it didn't even come up again and we're completely done with that place it feels like it didn't even happen it did happen right i'm not just imagining it their whole plan seemed so ridiculous their plan was that like there's gonna be a coup and the mouthpiece of the Baron, the one who's actually doing the talking, but the not, not the real Baron, they're gonna be killed and then the fake Baron will come back from the dead or something? And it was like a whole plan and it sounded ridiculous? Is that actually gonna happen and I'm gonna get like bad karma or something? I don't know, the whole thing's ridiculous and weird. Anyway, it's summer. Артем, я вот смотрю на Степу с Катей, на нас с тобой, и думаю, как же нам повезло. У родителей-то моих все совсем не так было. Плохо было.
Я тебе рассказывала, от чего мама умерла? Нет, конечно. Отец ее довел. Он тогда еще жестче был. Придет со службы, сапоги скинет, а у самого лицо все перекошено. Сразу к бутылке. Ругались много. Все за закрытыми дверями. Потом пропадал. И пока его не было, она тоже прикладываться начала. Когда трезвая была, плакала. А как выпьет, мечтательная такая становилась. Знаешь, как она меня звала? Просто А. Обнимет меня, говорит, мы с тобой, А, поедем когда-нибудь в мой родной город Владивосток, а оттуда в поселок, что на самом берегу океана. Мне тогда пять лет было, мало что понимала. Но поселок и даже океан могла себе представить. Потому что верила ей. Верила, что поедем. А потом она с собой покончила. Дрянью какой-то отравилась. После маминой смерти отец пить бросил. Раньше на меня внимания особо не обращал, а когда она умерла, больше одну не оставлял. Везде таскал с собой. Но про нее мы с ним за все время говорили только пару раз и все. У меня кукла была, Жанна. Я с ней играла, будто она моя дочка, и мы поехали на океан. Потом отец спрятал ее куда-то. Сказал, что потерялась. Не хотел видно, чтобы я себя несбыточной мечтой мучил. И я тогда придумала, что она во Владивосток уехала. А теперь и я еду. Пусть и не во Владивосток, зато с тобой. Мечта сбывается. Кстати, мне всегда было интересно, о чем папа мечтает. Он же должен уметь мечтать. Так вот о чем? О погонах? Так он сам себе мог любые навесить. Людей спасти? А что им дальше делать? Под землей сидеть? Никогда не понимала его. Чем он живет? Что ему надо для счастья? Может и ничего. У него ведь никогда не было времени подумать о завтрашнем дне. В метро о таком как-то не думается. А тут, наверху, другое дело. Я вот знаю, что хочу. Ноги в песок зарыть. Строить из него крепости для малышей. Я себе двоих представляю. Девочку и мальчика. Мальчик на тебя похож. Потом бежим купаться. Вода теплая, за спиной горы. Домики деревянные на берегу. Солнце нас будет каждый день. Поднимается огромное, прямо из воды. И бухта это наш с тобой пункт назначения. Туда стоило бы через полмира ехать. У каждого должен быть пункт назначения. Своя точка на карте, куда он рвется и где может наконец успокоиться. У всех наших свой. Вот подняли колпак, выпустили нас из метро, и мы разбегаемся. Но не сразу. Сначала по инерции еще вместе бежим. Бежим, туда ткнемся, сюда. Но каждый свою точку найдет и там останется. Не знаю, где такая точка для моего отца, Артем. И не знаю, где для тебя. Но я тебя очень люблю. Очень-очень. I'm just gonna sit here a while, I think. It's really pretty outside.
It's a very soothing sound, too. The wind and the train and the tracks and the tinkle of the wind chime. Беги, Тёма. Я ещё посижу немного и приду. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're gonna go see what's going on with the rest of the train now that it's summer and figure out where we're going. <laughs>